listening to the Dr. No Show on whitradio.org. Hello, I'm Tom. I'm Brandon. I'm Frank. I'm Daniel. And you're listening to the Dr. No Show today. Today we're talking about, we're going to talk about the NBA and the our predictions for the NFL games coming up, the top games. So we'll start with talking about the Celtics. Last night they had a pretty big win. They won with two seconds left with an alley to KG from Rondo. But they should have, in my opinion, happy. in my opinion, they should have blown out the Lake uh, Sixers. You must be happy. In my opinion, um, the Sixers should have won that game. They should have never allowed that that pass. That was just terrible defense. Yeah, they had a point guard, Drew Holiday, on um, Kevin Garnett in the post. That's an easy basket right wow. there. Wow. They did? Yeah, that's the biggest wow, mismatch I've was... ever seen. <laughs> that's, that was pretty bad then. The Celtics are doing pretty good. I think they're, what is it? Are they're, they in first? They're first or in, second uh, place? They're first. They're 18-4. 18, 18 yeah. and 4. I'm liking that. I'm liking it. <laughs> yeah, a lot. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. How are the Heat doing this year? The Heat are 15-8. and eight. They're three and a half games behind the Celtics. They're riding a six-game win streak. Yeah. They're on fire. And who's in front <laughs> oh, of the Oh, I get heat? it. Huh? Somebody's in front of the Heat. Oh, Orlando. Um, yeah, Orlando. They're 17-5. and five. They're Really? The Magic? Or? They're half a game ahead. I was watching some highlights on ESPN of the Magic game. Um, What's his name? Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard was Dwight dominating. 39 points. They said in the offseason he was practicing his offensive, offensive moves, moves and yeah. they're working a lot. Okay, Mr. Sports Center. Yeah. <laughs> do, do, do. Um, do, do, do. LeBron's averaging 24 points, 6 rebounds, and 7 assists. Pretty good numbers, yeah, considering sure. he has two other all stars on his team. Mm -hmm. um, considering they. Oh. Really? Really, Tom? It's just that the Heat's a very small team. They just need a click. Yeah. Their point guard isn't really that good. I'm just saying. Um, just <laughs> how about the West? The Lakers. They play the Bulls tonight. The Lakers are the Lakers. The Spurs are in right? first. That should be a good matchup. The Spurs are in first in the West. They're 18 and three. That's a team that the Lakers have to look out for. The Spurs. The Spurs. They're just clicking on offense. I saw their game the other day. They were like, like 15, um, 15 and 20 from the three point line. That's wow. that's crazy. Because Manu Ginobili, I saw one play, Manu Ginobili just comes in, he gets like five defenders on him, and then he just dishes it out for the three. You know what I love on the Spurs? I think it's the X factor, Dewan Blair. He's just, oh. he's, he's becoming a really good player. He was he was amazing in college. Yeah. yeah. I always knew, that was a steal. He was picked in Did the second round. Did you see that dunk round. by him yesterday? No. It was a crazy dunk, though. For what? Dewan Blair? The Mavericks are, um, yeah, the Mavericks are riding an 11-game win streak. That's impressive. They're 18 and four this season, and the Lakers are two games behind them at 16 and six. Do you think the Lakers are gonna make it far again? Like, yeah. Yeah, of course. Of even, even I'm, if, hope, I'm hoping. I'm hoping that they get, they get shut down in the postseason. I don't think they can though. Even if Kobe like is injured, he'll still like to, find a way to come back and like. They have too many options. They have, they picked the Barnes and Steve Blake. Pau Gasol is amazing this year. He's doing great this year. Yeah, uh, what it, I think he's averaging more points this year than he has last year in any other game. Yeah. He's, he's doing really I think good. A, a great pickup for the Lakers was Matt Barnes. He he brings so much to the team. He brings versatility, <laughs> speed. And then with Artest's defense. Yeah. I just want to point out um, the Clippers, they're in last place. They're 5-18. and 18. It's no shock mm. there. But... You know, Blake you know Griffin what, is just a beast. You know what's like shocking me right now in the NBA right now? The Knicks on the win streak. They're doing pretty good. Yeah, Myers Stoudemire really brought a lot to that team. He's um he's averaging twenty five points, nine rebounds, two assists, two blocks. I think he's the glue to that team. He's holding that team down. He has You see him being bet um you see him being a leader now. See him with his six game win streak. He had he has 30 on. Um, yeah, he has six straight 30 or yeah, more six. points in that's, six, that's games, six straight games. That's crazy. And 10 rebounds. Uh, it's Mr. P. I'm just butting in. If he gets another 30 point game tonight. He'll break a record, right? He breaks. Well, he ties a record that Willie Knowles had with the Knicks back in the 1960s. It's amazing. So he already has six, and last year he had eight in the whole season 30 and 10. Well, now you see that um, he's. um. 
he's breaking like there was doubts about him that saying that he he couldn't play without Steve Nash. Mm -hmm. Now like he's, he do he's proving people wrong now. And also the the Timberwolves, the Minnesota Timberwolves. Kevin Love is five. He's he's crazy. Yeah, but they're five and seventeen, so he it's one of those it. teams with yeah. He it's it like the Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin just has like the most spectacular dunks. I've all right. Let's see another what great game today. Thunder and Hornets. Um, that, that's gonna be pretty good. I'm gonna say Thunder. I say Hornets. We're close. Very yeah. close game. Very close game though. Mm -hmm. Uh, that like Daniel said, that's gonna be a really really close game. But I I say Thunder comes out to win. Did anybody yeah, see Thunder. Russell Westbrook's dunk? No. No. He dunked over. I heard about it. He dunked over like. Two centers yesterday. It's absolutely it's crazy. crazy. My goodness. I think it's about time we get to the NFL. All right, let's make our predictions for this this week's coming up games. I just want to say yesterday the Colts beat the Titans 30 to 28. Peyton Manning had 319 yards and two touchdowns. They're back to their winning ways. Yeah, I was gonna say it's more like the old Peyton Manning. You think they could get to the playoffs? Uh, from the hole they thought that they dug I hope in they the do. beginning of the season, I yeah. hope they do. But they can get, they can make a run, I think. Yeah, they could if they're gonna go. They have to do really good the next. Couple. They have to hope Jacksonville loses. Yeah. All right. Um. We got the Giants in Minnesota this week. Hmm. It all depends on Brett Favre. He's injured again. Yeah. Again. Um, I see the Giants. Tavares Jackson is not gonna beat the the Giants. I'm sorry. Yeah. The Giants are gonna win unless Brett Favre. Imagine like comes out in a wheelchair and like throws like four touchdown passes. Think what, yeah, with somehow. The only thing they need I don't think with Brett Favre will talk to hit him. Um, the number one team, the Falcons versus the Panthers. I'm Falcons. sorry, a lot of people are not believing in the Falcons. I don't know why they're number one. They prove yeah. themselves. Yeah. I really think that right now they're the best contenders to go to the Super Bowl. They're clearly yeah. gonna beat the Panthers. Yeah. Um, Michael Vick just. Uh, well, I'm not. I'm, I'm thinking about the Eagles, but anyway, the Eagles. I think they're a contender too, making it far in the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. Michael Vick's dominating on the field. Yeah. Patriots, Bears. Pa Patriots easily. Yeah, Patriots Come on. because they're like the second team. Uh, Forty-five, three. Oh. Hopefully, shut up. Yeah. Sh hopefully shut the. Your mouth. Hopefully the Bears win, but it's probably going to be the Patriots. How about the Jets and Miami the Miami and Jets. Wow. The Jets. I think the Dolphins, the, Dolphin, the Dolphins have to win out to make it to the playoffs right they're, from now on. Yeah, they have so to win like every the, game. So the, Jet, the Jets have to beat him. If they beat him, uh, my brother's a big Jets fan, so I'll laugh in his face. I mean, he's a big Dolphins fan. Yeah. Jets are going to win, probably. Yeah, I'll go with the Jets on that one. Unless they go on like a slump. Yeah, unless they never know. Do. Dolphins are not that bad either. But they're not that bad, but it just depends Jets on the Jets. have to go back to the their winning ways. Eagles versus the Cowboys. That's, that, that's yeah, going to be a good game. Way, that's an easy one. That's no, it isn't. No. Not at all. The, the, the Cowboys, Cowboys they, might, they might have um, been underachieving um, the previous weeks, but they've been beating some Yeah, good the Cowboys teams. are coming back. Yeah, with that coach, the that coach, coach, he's done something. I don't know. Well, you could say they are beating those teams, but the thing is they also need to beat the bad teams in order for them to do... And without their starting quarterback. Yeah. Just saying. Oh. Okay, that's he, not that bad either, so. When is That's Romo? Romo's out, Romo's out for the whole entire season. Probably because they're not gonna make the playoffs. He might come. Uh, he says yeah, he could play a, like the last like two he's weeks. He's such an overrated um, quarterback to me. Yeah. Well, he's like I wouldn't say overrated. I'd say more like he has a lot of talents. He just doesn't need, like I don't think he thinks really. I haven't really seen anything that overwhelms me. He says he could come back like the last game or two. All right, uh, Ravens and Texans. All right, let's make it quick here. Last uh, game. I say Texans. I say Ravens. 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 That defense. Uh, yo, that defense is and that offense too. I'll, I'll, make, a bet with you. I'll make a bet with you that the Texans win. All right. All right. Sure. Bengals, Steelers, Steelers all the way. Steelers. All right. That's it with our segment for the Doctor No Show today. Yes. I'm Tom. I'm Brandon. I'm Frank. This I'm has been a presentation. Of all right. Goodbye. Bye.